On to the next question regarding the social impact of fasting. Um, are there any specific areas that you can shed light on for us as today? As far as the social impact is concerned, in fasting, the person realizes about the other human beings who are poor, who don't have food, who don't have shelter. And it makes us realize that how does it feel when a person is hungry? Many of us who are rich, who have no problem of eating food, when we fast, we realize how does it feel when a person is hungry. So our love and our care for the poor people increases. And furthermore, even we realize the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many times do we really thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the food he has given us, for the water? Imagine the air that we get, that we breathe. How many times do we thank Allah for that? So the food, the water which Allah provides us, the rich people hardly, their mind goes towards it. But while fasting, they realize that. It helps them to care for the poor people. It also helps them in being generous with the other human beings, in sharing with other human beings. It also helps in forgiving other people's fault. So fasting helps the society in various ways. And furthermore, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, it's mentioned in Sayyid al jami volume number one, Hadith number 896, the beloved Prophet said that if you have mercy on those on the earth, then those who are in the heaven, they will have mercy on you. That means if you are merciful to the other human beings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have mercy on you. So this fasting, it helps us in building the society better. It helps us in being generous, helps us in being loving, in caring with the other human beings. And besides, not only the poor people, it helps us in being good with all the human beings. It helps us in being good with the family, helps us in being good with society. And many a time, we don't realize that we don't give enough time to our family, especially in the Western world. At least in fasting, you are with the family twice. And people make it a point that in fasting, at least they should do the sohor with the family and at least break the fast with the family. So at least they are with the family twice in the day. So the bonding in the family increases. There the family get together, the parents get more close to the children, especially in the Western world where this is neglected. As far as the society is concerned, it is very helpful in getting the society together. We many a time go to our neighbors. During iftar, we call our friends, call our neighbors. And the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number three, hadith number 5379. The Prophet said, whenever you're invited, do not refuse. So people invite each other during iftar, during the month of Ramadan. So it helps in getting the human beings closer to one another, whether it be yes. the neighbors, whether it be the society at large. And it's also a very good time for self-improvement as well as doing isla and dawah. We meet people in the mosque. Many people who don't go to the mosque every month of Ramadan, they come to the mosque. We meet them. We can chat with them. We go for tarawi. And this is the time we can do isla. We can do dawah to the non-Muslim. And as you rightly said, Ramadan was the month the time we change your heart. And Allah gave you hidayah. This is very important. And that's why the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, mentioned in Sunan Tirmidhi, Hadith number 1924, that Allah bestows his mercy on those who themselves show mercy to others. Again, a prophet says, and he continues in this hadith, that if you are merciful, the merciful will show mercy on you. And he further says that if you show mercy to those on earth, those in the heaven will show mercy to you. So fasting helps in building up the society and getting people closer to one another.